How to diversify a construction business so you can become wealthy. It's not as hard as you think. In construction, we know other people in construction. Something that I personally use was my phone. We all have contacts in our phone that do more than what we do. So don't offer just one service if you have friends that do other things. Give you an example. As an electrician, you will go look at an AC unit that is not working because they think power went off. You go up to the roof or on the ground, you check the disconnect, 240 volts, you're getting 30 or 40 amps into it. Power looks great, but the unit is still don't work. Well, most likely you know somebody who does HVAC and you just grab your phone, make that phone call, pass the work to somebody you know. Let's change it to a plumber. You go into a house, they're renovating a bathroom, they're having an issue with their shower because the homeowner decided to do it himself. You only got hired because they're afraid of touching electrical. Well, it might be a plumber in your phone. Give him a call. When you start going out to all these calls and you're keeping your friends as busy as you are because you're passing down this work, instead of just passing it, partner up. Create partnerships with the main trades in the business. The ones that are used the most on the service department of things is HVAC electrical and plumbing. We all have contacts in our phones from people that do these already. You don't have to get out of your umbrella of things to find people. It literally just require you asking those around you what they do. When you find enough work for them and you're keeping them as busy as you are, it makes sense to join forces. Join the trades Instead of just having an electrical company, now you are part owner on an HVAC company. They are part owners on your electrical company and you are part owner on a plumbing, roofing, or any other trade that your clients are keep asking you for. Most of customers believe that when they call them Sparky, the Sparky only does electrical. They don't understand that you might know every single trade under the umbrella. Then start using your contacts. Use your phone for what is meant to be a tool, not a place just to watch videos. Start making those phone calls, start contacting the people you know that do great work, not just hand over the work, make it a partnership. So where everybody's making money of everybody's work. What that's gonna give you is gonna give you a very strong foundation for a multiple business instead of just the one you're doing. You have to be able to bring something to the table for people to wanna partner up with you. That could be sales. You might already have a system of sales or how customers are coming to you. You might have all these leads that are funneled down to just electrical, but you haven't offered anything else. So you don't know if the same clients you are going to might need all these guys you already know that you're partnering with. It's all gonna come down on all you guys matching on wanting the same things, which means you can start pointing them into the right direction or they can start pointing you into the right direction. It doesn't necessarily have to be you who find them. They might be finding you. Just be open to the opportunities that come in front of you. I understand most people take a lot of pride on being the one thing. Electrical, plumbing, HVAC, framing, roofing, landscaping, you name it. Everybody takes pride on what they do. But it doesn't matter how much fucking pride you take on what you do if you have no fucking work. If you get together with other companies, now it's not just one look person looking for work, it's all of you. Now it turns into a team and multiple companies. You don't have to own 50%, 10, 20% is better than no percent. You were not making money just by referring them. So make it into a business while you start using others. And don't get it wrong, they're using you as well. Now with the main trades under your belt, you can actually go and get a GC license. Now you can start taking on more work than just those specific trades. Now, do you need to partner up with the same guys to do the general contracting company? You do not, because they still making the revenue because all the work you find as a GC is going to your companies, your HVAC plumbing and that. And then you start opening the umbrella to bring in framers, concrete workers, drywaller, finishers, cabinetry, woodwork, all of those other trades will start lining up within this GC company. Now you open yourself to not only more work, but you open yourself to better jobs because you can do everything in-house versus having to sub all the work to everybody else, paying their high rates where your profits might be lower because you cannot raise the price that high. Now you have everything under the umbrella of construction under your belt. You either hire in-house or you partner up with companies. That's the best way to create revenue and diversify one business into many. So now when you di diversify into a general contractor and all these other trades, you run into a problem you probably never ran through before. You're making too much fucking money. And let's be realistic, the government wants 50% of it or close to it. So now you're going to, okay, I don't mind paying the taxes because we all have to pay them, but 
what other things can I do that I can create other businesses related to my own? For me, it was real estate. I, the first things I started with is like, well, I got to spend a large chunk of change and I don't need a new car. So once I had all this money and I don't know what to do with it and my CPA is telling me like, well, we got to do something with it or you want to end up paying this much in taxes, my eyes immediately move into real estate. Something I always wanted to do. I always thought I couldn't afford it because I was a knucklehead and I didn't know exactly how it worked, but my focus shifted that way. I already work on homes. So it became an easy task for me to, to take on. I went straight for rentals. And then I bought my first, I think I bought four or five all at once. And I utilized the company I had already set up to do all the work in these homes, got them all renovated, put tenants into the homes. And then I started learning everything that comes with it, which is now you can make money off of real estate that is tax free, either through the rentals, through the loan of refinancing or doing all of this process. But let's be realistic. I was just starting, I was an knucklehead. I didn't really know what I was getting myself into, so I had to get educated. Then it turned out that my real estate business turned into an actual business. Rentals started doing pretty good. We were buying houses consistently. And then now I didn't want to have any cash. I wanted to spend it all in real estate. I got very frugal with my personal life. And then I started getting very expensive on my real estate side. But then that only lasts so long until once again, you run through the problem of, oh shit, I got more money that I need. Then real estate again became the answer and I started flipping my own homes. I started flipping them, I started buying homes at a lower price, I started renovating them, putting my own money into the deals, and then I started selling these houses. But then that also creates more money, which means it's a never-ending cycle of creating businesses that are related to the one that we start with. If you started as an electrician and you end up in real estate doing flips or doing wholesaling or doing rentals or having your own portfolio, then you're gonna start navigating into other areas. Now, something that I'm gonna make very clear, if you wanna grow in business, you gotta hang around with the right people. All the ideas of the world never come from people that are not in your circle. You need to get out of that circle. Our parents used to tell us, show me you hang out with and I will tell you what you do. It's the same as a grown up. If all your friends are drunk every weekend, that means you're one of them. You need to change your mentality. You need to change your drive. You need to change your focus and you need to have your goals clear as day. Otherwise, you will move into all these ventures and you will screw up all of them without even knowing. Prepare to make the moves to diversify so money is not just coming from where you started. Money comes from many different avenues and that's what creates wealth. You working hard 18 hours a, a day only creates money. That's not wealth, my friends. That's just money. It'll disappear as fast as it came. If you want to understand this in a deeper level, please reach out to me on Instagram. I'll be happy to help. If you found this video useful, please subscribe. If you would like to ask me anything, please just put it on a comment. And I hope to see you all in the field.